me just say it has been a pleasure to to witness and experience the the light and wisdom that has been on this platform this morning. I, I greet you all on behalf of Anglicans for Decriminalization, also on behalf of the Intimate Conviction Conference Series. I greet you in the name of love, of, of light, of peace, of unity in diversity. You know, I just want to note that as we meet, as we have these presentations, they occur at a time when we, we continue to, to see various challenges across the Caribbean, um, in the province of the West Indies, in various Commonwealth countries. And as we do so, we also recognize that there are, are gains being made and we are thankful for that. Earlier, I would have wanted to, to make a quick response to the question about how might we facilitate more progressive teachings and experiences in the context of church, because we really need more of that. And I believe many of our personnel in church leadership need to really ask themselves the question as to, or questions, as to whether or not incarnational theology and liberation theology are, are, are just academic pursuits. You know, how can we really put flesh on all of that? How can we make that come alive and not just something that we reference in papers? Because for too often we are having clergy. It cannot be that 99.9% .9 of clergy in this part of the world are really, as Clifford was noting, are all so conservative. You, one of the things that I have been doing over the past couple of weeks is faci facilitating Bible study contexts in which I refer to and deal with and use opportunities presented by the questions that people are asking. So some persons started asking questions about Genesis 19 and the Solomon Gomorrah story. That presented an opportunity to do a Bible study on Genesis 19. And if you are doing a Bible study on Genesis 19, certainly in our context, you cannot do that without talking about human sexuality and talking about LGBT concerns. So it led to a number of presentations, not just one session, in which we also looked at church and homosexuality, looked at topical matters in the news, the whole matter of civil unions and gay partnerships, uh, same gender unions in Barbados, in the Cayman Islands, again, all within our province and certainly within the diocese of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, although many of us were being silent on these matters. So I think it is very good that we are having this kind of continued conversation and light and wisdom. Something else that I have been doing lately is uh, referring uh, certain texts for use across churches and in congregations and in Bible studies and in our uh, WhatsApp, not only within the wider province, but in the diocese. Texts like um, John Killinger's 10 Things I Learned Wrong from a Conservative Church and David Schweitzer's Pastoral Care of Gays and Lesbians. Also, John Pavlovitz's A Bigger Table because I believe we need to make more use of what is available in the literature out there, in the research out there, in whatever information will empower persons to have more enlightened conversations. Peace and love to you all. Thank you.